dizzying heights, a daring drop, a leap of faith through the air, and hopefully a soft landing in the sand at the long jump. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The long jump is, we are told, the Duke of Craven's favorite competition. You may remember the Duke was keen on long jump. He was a big enthusiast back in his heyday with a remarkable reputation for going the distance, just like the very milk sponsoring these very special games. If you've just tuned in or skipped ahead, this is, of course, the last Marble Standing Games here in the Craven Dome. As we get ready for the first leap of the day, waves moving through the crowd, waves of nervousness and anxiousness moving through our competitors. But those who are courageous may find themselves winning the Cravendale Cup. Team Purity, first to go. We will take a look and see where it came down in the sand, and it appears past 75. Ooh, past 80, perhaps. Not a bad start to this one. Of course, the long jump, very strategic in how you release from the ramp. The climb up, as your nerves building all the time. The drop down, I don't even know if you really have time to think about that. Milky Madness launches now as 80.8 .8 becomes the result to beat, and that looks a little bit short. On the slow-mo, Milky Madness coming in just a hair under 80. In heat one of two. Of course, the goal when you come off of the ramp, you've got to decide how high do you want to go? Do you want to give that little push? You're trying to build that, that arch, that parabola. As Milky Madness comes in with a 79.4. And this one here is also going to be fairly close to that range, maybe just a tad bit farther. Oh yes, I would say just a little bit farther, in fact. In the 79 range. And the semi-skimmers have a decent jump on their first go. Definite crowd favorites here. 79.5, the official. Derry Dash up now. The launch down the ramp kept it fairly centered, I might add. Derry Dash, of course, the leaders in the championship thus far. Taking the inside line, perhaps, toward claiming the Cravendale Cup. That one is bunched in the group. Decent consistency here. Only one past 80 at this point. Obviously, we're only in heat one of two, as it is with any competition where you've got multiple heats. Managing your energy output is extremely important. Do you want to give it all that you have in the first one, or do you want to give it a moderate attempt and see what you have to beat as you head into the next round? That may be the case here, as that is well short. The freshers are not even going to break 79. See the referees with close eyes on the marks. They want to make sure this is absolutely exact. The measurements are pure and true. 78 even. Now Grays of Glory. Our winners from the first event. Decent leap there and caught softly against that backstop on the far end of the sand pit. And that might have broken 80. That's looking pretty good. We'll wait for the official measurement. Yes, indeed. Grays of Glory are also past the 80 mark. That is not a bad way to be. Especially since that closes out heat number one. We regroup and get ready for the second heat. But it's Grays of Glory up front with 81 as their long jump. Courtesy of great elevation from team member Blazy. Who narrowly ahead of Puro from Team Purity. That is very close up top. The semi-skimmers, Milky Madness, and everybody else needing to do a little bit better. Team Purity in the blocks with Puro. The second attempt draws a cheer from the crowd. I cannot tell where that landed. There we go. Ooh! Also past 80, it is an improvement. Team Purity, the host team, so they get a slightly bigger cheer than some of the other ones. 
Also, of course, handpicked by the Duke and Duchess. As Milky Madness, a powerhouse of endurance and teamwork. Part of Milky Madness's mantra is thought out tactics, strict preparation. They bring that to every event in which they compete. But I think in this one, they're just going to be a little bit short with their captain, Michael. In that 78 range, wait for the official measurement to come, but not a huge ovation. wonder what head coach Maurice will have to say about that. Semi-skimmers, mid-level in the qualifiers, looking to get in the top level here in the long jump. And they'll do it by sending Jimmy. Not a bad launch. Interestingly, some of the marbles angle slightly off to the left. Semi-skimmers in this case ended up more to the near side, to the right. You have to wonder if maybe a prevailing wind in an open air stadium might mess them up, but in the Craven Dome, I'm not sure what the excuse is on that one. Fine margins you are working with, and a 77.5 greets the semi-skimmers after a 79.5 in Heat 1. Derry Dash. Now they are more built on speed than endurance. It has been in their history, but needed perhaps a little bit more speed and a little bit more strength to launch here. That one's going to be back clear towards 76. That is well down on the rest of the field. Especially considering their first jump was a 78-8 with their coach four pint. Seventy-six even is the mark. As the newest team in the field. Take to the top and a good jump there. At least it looked straight and true. Oh, look at that. Very close to 80. Not bad at all for a team that has only existed for eight months. They were very rushed in their preparations to get ready for this tournament. But they would not let it pass without having a go at claiming the Cravendale Cup. Pretty unexpected when they finished in third place in the qualifiers. Where do they finish here? Their section is a buzz. The pressures come in with an 80 even. Good jump by Roman. Rays of glory. Back to the top now. We go from the newest team to the oldest. Leaders after the first heat with an 81 even. That is very near to where the freshers just landed. Referee marbles right there to see it. Almost directly in front of them, and it's a little past 80. That's getting close to the 80.5 mark. And like I said earlier, if you break that 80, that's going to put you in the top part of the standings, no doubt about it. What is the official measure? 80.4. And with as close as the first round of heats have been, it makes a difference. Three tenths gives Grays of Glory the victory. A combination between the two jumps gives them just enough. Grays of Glory, they won the first event, they've won the third event. Picked for purity, filtered for brilliance, this is the caliber of team that we come to expect in this competition. Well, in reforming this team, they have shown so much passion, pure as snow, pure brilliance. Did you ever think it was going to end like that, that close? Well, we're already halfway through the competition. It's been a blinder so far. The crowd were fantastic, throwing their support behind the competition's elite athletes, some of which promised and delivered to go the distance. It's been a fine day at the last Marble Standing Games from Arla Cravendale, and we leave you now as the sun sets on another successful day at the Cravendale.